And the reason why we're here today is the Moral Mondays movement. It's here at Georgia, and we're going to stay here until uh, a, a lot of the things that have been going on in our state legislature are, are rectified. What I see now is not a dismantling of the school to prison pipeline, but a dismantling of the trust between the school, the parents, and the children. What I see now is an us versus them mentality that has permeated the public school system. Hello, my name is Kyota Jones. I am a member of the organizing committee for Moral Monday Georgia. The purpose of Moral Monday Georgia is to bring a um, list of legislative concerns that the citizens have here to the Capitol every Monday during the legislative season. We've been doing this since January 13th, the first day. That was our first day of action, but we've actually been planning since um, last summer. With this movement, we'd like it to grow. We want to bring our Georgians here and make them aware of uh, immoral legislation that's going on here at the Capitol. We want to bring the people here. We want them contacting the legislators. We want our voices, our voices heard. Today is Education Day. We're focused on things that, are con that concern um, our educators and our public schools. And uh, we have a bill that's up right now on the table that's going to take away the pay for our bus drivers, um, making it so they can't receive unemployment during the parts of the year where they're not able to work. That's a major concern. And we're also concerned with the defunding that's happening to Georgia public schools. We are appealing to the politicians and to the public to forego personal agendas and truly think, I'm a teacher, think that's right. about, not only think about, but also do what is right and not wrong for public education. Yes. What is right is to fully fund public education. I'm Dougie the Abolitionist. I'm an artist activist. Uh, I chair a criminal justice committee uh, with the Clayton County Branch NAACP. Yes, we're going in the right direction. We're standing up against the Koch brothers. We're standing up against the American Legislative Exchange Council. They're attacking immigrants' rights. They're attacking our public education. They're attacking our environment. They're attacking animal rights. They're attack they There's not a stone untouched that these people are not affecting the lives of common people. We're uniting with workers, we're uniting with the immigrant community, we're uniting with, it's a multicultural movement that we're, we're building and we're resisting and, sta and saying that we're not going to allow the, the, the prison industrial complex to grow anymore, mass incarceration, the racial profiling, the intracommunal violence that goes on in our communities. We're not going to have it be exacerbated by unnecessary decisions within our state's legislature where billions and billions of dollars are giving tax, tax breaks to corporations instead of taking care of the people. So that's why we're here today.